There's no one one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable, and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. But the Bible says, go preach the gospel to every creature, because no one can get to heaven without believing in Christ. No one. But Steve's faith is unique because it's really not about that. Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? No, I believe that when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, in the way I read that, Jesus said, he is the, he's the road marker, he's the map. So I think God loves people so much that whether they accept or reject him, he's still gracious and he's still moving and he's still giving you massive red blinking lights. Deny our only master and Lord Jesus Christ. All of the cults have to do this. You have to make Jesus something that he's not, someone that he's not. So here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? Well, I believe, Oprah, that there, I believe that Jesus is the way to the one God. But I believe there are many paths to Jesus. Does that mean that all people, all races, obviously, in your, your, your church, we see all people, all races. I can't imagine that you would have 16,000 people in there and none of them would be gay. So are gay people also included? Absolutely. No, no. No, no, that's not what people need. You need to know who Christ is and what Christ has done. There are millions of ways to be a then human being and, and many ways, no, but many paths no to what you call God. That is the question that only Christianity answers. How do I become reconciled to God and go to heaven? The time in which we live does not make it easy for us to answer this question without being viewed as someone who is integrated in their thinking. We live in a time where you are allowed to have a truth in your truth, but you cannot have the truth. So when Christians come along and say that they know the way that leads to heaven, they know the truth that gives eternal life, and they know the one that can save people from sin and eternal hell, they are more than likely to be mocked, ridiculed, and labeled as narrow-minded. But the fact of the matter is, there is one true religion, Christianity, that asserts that man is completely and utterly unable to earn his way to heaven unless God intervenes by his divine power. That is the truth for the helpless, the needy, the poor in spirit, the humble, for those who have no hope in themselves and no ability to earn their way to heaven. And on the other hand, every other religion teaches that you can earn your your way to heaven. You can meet God's standards of holiness and righteousness. You can be your own savior by working out the bad with your good deeds. It is a works-based salvation, a man's based salvation, where sinful man is ironically both savior and redeemer. That is no salvation at all because of the nature of man. Man is so depraved in his mind and corrupted in his heart that he thinks very highly of himself and very lowly of his sin. Therefore, men speak as if they know the way to God. They can build their own highway to the city of the Holy One, they can pave their way to the throne womb of Yahweh, when in reality men ought to be rolling in sackcloth and ashes, saying, O oh, wretched men that I am, be merciful to me, a sinner. I have no help and no hope. Lord, without you I will die and perish in my sin. Rescue me, O oh Lord. However, men do not think like that. Blinded by sin, men thinks he is pretty much good as he is and can meet God's standards of salvation on his own terms. Hence, you have a pluralistic way of thinking about eternity and heaven and how to get to God. The Buddhists say that meditation, spiritual and physical labor, and good behavior are the ways to get to heaven. The Hindus believe in karma and reincarnation. Muslims believe each individual will go to heaven based on their deeds. If your deeds are righteous, Allah will let you into paradise. If your deeds are unrighteous, Allah will send you to hell. The Catholics believe you must have faith in Jesus and you must also have good works in order to be saved. Judaism believes you must keep the law and do good work to get to heaven. And the list goes on and on. Every religion other than biblical Christianity requires that you do something in order to get to heaven. That is a lie from the pit of hell. I urge you today at this moment to not run a fool's errand in this world by trying to earn your way to heaven. It is useless to attempt to outdo your bad with your good deeds because there is absolutely nothing good in men from a divine perspective. There's nothing good men can offer a 
thrice holy God that can ever meet his standards of holiness, righteousness, and justice. Man is a sinner and he sins because that is who he is by nature and as such he stands guilty before a holy God. The only solution for man is to be born again, to be born from above, to be born from the spirit. Why? Because you cannot in your unregenerate state produce any good deeds that can satisfy God's justice. Thus you will never be good enough to enter God's heaven on your own terms. How do we get right with God? That is the question. The Bible says God who reconciled us believers to himself through Christ gave us the ministry of reconciliation. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. The only way you can get right with God, the only way we can get to heaven is by the divine work of God. The Bible says in Romans 10 verse 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that is the way, the only way. The jailer in Acts 16 as he was on his knees and trembling with fear in awe of the power of God asked Paul and Silas what must I do to be saved they replied believe the Lord Jesus and you will be saved if there's one big lesson I've learned from my time here in America as a Christian it is this never learn theology or anything spiritual for that matter from TV personalities or celebrities because the majority if not all TV personalities and celebrities though they claim to be quote-unquote Christians serve a different God than the God of the Bible. Their view of salvation is often distorted. Their Jesus is different from the Jesus of Scripture and their worldview is usually anti-biblical. And there are four personalities we will consider throughout this video. Personality number one, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey portrays herself as a Christian, or so it seems, and she certainly thinks and believes that there is another way to salvation. There is another path to the pearly gates. There is another word that leads to God other than the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the questions she usually brings up over the years of interviewing people and celebrity pastors is this. Is Jesus the only way to heaven or is Jesus the only way to God? Are there many paths or different paths to God? <laughs> Great question. So here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? Do you believe that only Christians can be in relationship with God? One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a then human how do you being. Please God? And, and many ways, no, but many paths right. to what you call God. That and is her path crazy. might be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it. Is absolutely right and many pastors and Christians could learn a lot from her. So knowing the way to heaven is of utmost importance to everyone. The Bible says that there is no other way, there's no other savior, there's no other name but Jesus Christ that can save you from your sins and its terrifying wages which is eternal death. The Bible says in Acts 17 verse 30, God is now proclaiming to mankind that all people everywhere are to repent because he has set a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness through a man whom he has appointed, having furnished proof to all people by raising him from the dead. This is God declaring through the Apostle Paul the most exclusive and definitive truth about Christianity. There is no other way to God, there is no other way to heaven but through Jesus Christ whom God has appointed. It does not matter what rich people say, it doesn't matter what billionaire or influential people say, what truly matters is what does the Word of God say? A pilgrimage to Mecca, countless prayers, rosary, self-inflicted wounds will be counted as nothing. Any other attempt to get you to heaven besides Jesus Christ is guaranteed to lead you to hell. This brings me to my second personality, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey portrays and presents himself as a Christian or at the very least a believer in God. He often shares and gives sage wisdom regarding God and how God supposedly operates and was a big part of his fame and success. That God I serve. He's an unbelievable God. God then gave me more than I asked for because he got this thing he has called grace. And I guess when you're all as successful and as rich as Steve Harvey, people would be willing to take anything you say about God and salvation at face value. 
But that would be a grave mistake because our source of truth is not TV personalities, it is not Hollywood, it is the Word of God. And Satan endeavors to make everyone who is trapped in false religions believe that they are well on their way to heaven when in fact they are not. Satan uses prominent people such as Oprah Winfrey and Steve Harvey to mislead people and lead them to hell. I think Steve Harvey serves a different God than the God of the Bible and a different Jesus than the Jesus of Scripture. Jesus says in Matthew 7 verse 13, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. For the gate is narrow and the way is constricted that leads to life, and there are few who find it. The way to heaven is so narrow and so constricted that it only has space for you and the cross that you are commanded to carry. And very few people find the true way. Jesus says it is difficult to find the way to heaven. Christians are supposed to point people to the true way. We are supposed to be a witness in a world full of lies about heaven and how to get to God. But what is much more disconcerting is when so-called Christians and pastors reject the truth of the Bible. This brings me to my third personality. Celebrity preachers and celebrity pastors, such as Joel Osteen and Carl Lenz. When given an opportunity to stand for the truth and present the truth, they fall flat and outright reject the teaching of the Bible. They embrace damning errors regarding the Lord Jesus Christ and salvation in order to appeal to the crowd and not offend anyone with the truth of the gospel. That is why I never considered any of these men as Christians. They may appear to be so, but they are pagans. They represent the archetype of a wolf in sheep's clothing, claiming to lead people to heaven when in reality they are dragging millions on the broad wood that leads to hell. The heart of the Christian faith is its saving reality and its saving power. True Christians have always believed and thought that you cannot be saved from eternal hell unless you hear and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is what believers in scripture have always affirmed, have always proclaimed, always believed, and have always embraced. This leads me to my fourth personality. My fourth personality is Jesus Christ, the only Savior. The Bible says in Acts 4.12, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. And his name is Jesus Christ. My friend, there is salvation in no one else and nowhere else, but in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Jesus has spoken in his word, and he said in the Gospel of John, I am the true vine. I am the good shepherd. I am the door. I am the way. I am the truth. And no one comes to the Father but by me. There is no heaven without Jesus. Now my question is this, are you on your way to heaven? You may think that you are too evil, you are too broken, too sinful, and too wretched for God to forgive you. But let me tell you this, Christ's invitation is exactly for people like you and I who are broken by sin and hopeless. If you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ, you will be forgiven and you will have life eternal life, life in abundance. And at this moment, I would like to kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel if you love our content and help us share and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you are just stopping by and made it this far in the video, well, thank you for watching. I hope you are encouraged and I hope to see you in our next video with Love in Christ, John Henry with the Gospel of Christ.